All right, once we've done the process of bridging the gap and we're now in the grappling situation, we need to try to take the fight to the ground. So we're gonna go over some of those concepts. Once I've done my bridging the gap and I'm in the clench position, my hands stay low on the hip line. Whether his arm is in or not, I wanna keep my hands down low and my head up high to make sure that I'm leveraging his spine both in the lowest part and the highest part. When I'm in the clinch position, as he moves around, I wanna make sure that I can keep my balance and keep him centered in the middle of my base, between my two feet. The first takedown that will most commonly happen from here is he doesn't wanna to be too close to me anymore. He's disgusted by how much I smell. So he pushes me away because I am disgusting with his hands. So he starts pushing. This creates the fold for you initially. I'm going to continue that fold. So I'm gonna pull his hips to my hips and my head is going to tilt his shoulders down. As he starts to fall, I'm going to catch to make sure his head doesn't bounce off the concrete. Then I will guide him down with control and finish in the mount position. Okay, for a lot of reasons, we don't wanna to add too much violence to this unless absolutely necessary. So we're gonna protect our partner. We don't know what the situation might entail. So again, he throws the punch, I crash, I clinch, and I stay nice and tight here. He pushes me away with disgust, I bring him down and I catch, and I'm like, it's okay. <laughs> He's still so right. Okay, and then I finish in the mount position. Okay, that's the body pull takedown. All right, the next takedown from the clinch position, He's quite comfortable being close to you, so we have to figure out another way to destabilize his balance and bring him to the ground. So again, I enter into the clinch position here. I keep his stance, his one leg is in between my legs. His body is in the middle of my balance. I'm gonna hold tight here. He's keeping this sideways stance with me. I'm gonna use that to help trip him, okay? I'm gonna take one leg off the ground so he's only balancing on the single leg for all of his stability. I'm gonna do a circular motion to take his weight over the leg that I take off. So my foot steps in, I collect his leg, and I continue to circle his hips to the ground. Same thing, I hold his balance, and I climb to the mount position. I'm going to keep him in the center of my base to allow myself to do that. So once I'm here, I step around the corner with my hip, I collect his leg, and as I collect, I bring him down, I keep my stance once he's fallen, and then I drive into the mount position. One more time. All right. Next, once I'm in the clench position, some situations might mean I need to bring it to the ground. My partner's starting to get away from me. I don't want it to go back into a striking fight. So I'm gonna bring it to the ground and try and control him on the ground where I can defend against strikes and not manage that distance on the ground rather than standing, okay? So from here, I enter into the clench position, okay? But my partner starts to pull away from me. And my hands, my grips are starting to break. And if I don't do anything, he'll break free, and we have to reset and go again. So I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna get the clench position. As he pulls away, I'm gonna move my hands to his shoulders, okay? And I'm gonna keep his head down. I'm gonna walk my legs back, and I'm gonna drag his knees to the ground. So I do a bit of a snap down motion. And then I pull him into the guard. Now to defend against the strikes, I'm gonna go one hand over the head, and one hand over the arm. And I'm gonna keep my head next to his head. And now as he moves around, I try and strike. It's very difficult. And that's where we wanna finish for this one. Just like that.